Well, hello again. Uh, today we are doing a tag and maybe I should have prepared and taken out the questions. That was kind of stupid of me not to do. I thought that I was going to do um, the bad and the boring tag um, that Lisa Lobotomy has created. I, I saw her, um, I saw her, I saw when she put it up, uh, I saw it when she put it up, but that was a while ago. And I put it on my list of tags to do and then I got confused in the head. Uh, and then I saw a lot of other people do it right now and well, I tag myself. So uh, yeah, I thought I was going to do it, but now I realized that I know one question that I will need a thing for, so I will just get that. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and Lisa is always linked down below, so you can go check her out. I'm sorry if I'm looking at the camera weird, because it's, you know, I'm not kind of settled in, into all of this, but yeah. And I have the questions on my mini iPad over here. Uh, question one, there are 10 questions, so you know. A foundation finish you don't like. Well, most of my foundations are matte. Um, and I have not liked that very much. I like it dewy, but at the same time I don't like it when it's oily. Mm, I don't like matte full coverage, I think. And still that is like all of my foundations. <laughs> But then I will look cakey. I don't know why, it doesn't work on me. The worst mascara you have ever tried? Ooh. I don't like a lot of mascaras, but I know there were a mascara that I tried a few times and then I just threw it away. What, oh, what was the mascara? God, I don't remember. Should I have prepared answers for this? <laughs> uh, but I don't like the better than sex mascara at least. That's not the worst one I've tried, but I can't think of the worst one right now. If I remember, I can put it on the screen, but I don't think I will remember it. But I don't like Too Faced better than sex because that's... Um, you know, during the day I will be black under the eyes and it's flaking off, so I don't like it. Um, one thing you tried once and then thrown away. Well, that would be the mascara, kind of. Uh, I think... I'm not very good at throwing away things, obviously. Um, so I usually just, you know, put them back in its place and don't use it. But I think I have thrown away some mascaras and some, you know, lip liners that were, you know, cutting up holes in my lip or something like that. I don't know. Um, the most boring eyeshadow palette you own. That was what I went and fetched. And uh, <laughs> I, I think I have a lot of boring palettes. Um, but this one must be one of the most boring ones <laughs> and it's from makeup revolution i don't know why i bought this uh, but it's matte and it's brown so no it's not matte at all i'm just kidding it's called the ultimate eyeshadow collection and it's 144 of your favorite iconic eyeshadows in one palette it looks like this I, I it's brown there's one blue and one burgundy I think it looks more fun for you because that lo almost looks green but, but it's not and you know what are you, what are you going to do with these did I receive this for free no I probably bought it, it wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, that was one of my most boring palettes at least. 
but I have a lot of palettes that are just different shades of brown and they are not even shimmery brown so um, a makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away <laughs> well any brow trend I think is boring uh, I hate doing my brows uh, that was the last step that I uh, added to my makeup routine <laughs> and sometimes I even forget to do them in videos <laughs> because I, I don't care um, like now I have just put teeny tiny bit of um, what was it that I put in oh no I don't know where it is but I put in a little bit of benefit gimme brow I wonder where everything went but yeah never mind oh here it is this one just put in a little bit of that um, so yeah any brow trend is boring um, I don't know otherwise no um, the worst liquid lipstick you had tried oh my god that is the Gerard Cosmetics one. I have one, so I have only tried one, and I know that people say that it uh, it's you know depends on the color and such. But I have the one that is called Summer Loving. It's a bright neon pink, and that is the only reason why I still have it because it's so damn pretty and extreme, and you know blinding and shows up in the dark kind of bright. Um, I think I have it on my, uh, you know, the picture I have with my, when I comment on videos and such, but um, uh, it's such a pretty color, that's why I keep it, but it's the worst formula. <laughs> it's so dry and it flakes off and mm, it's the worst formula, that's why I haven't bought any other one from Your Cosmetics and I know people, you know, like them very much but I can't stand them I hate when they crumble away and you end up eating your lipstick <laughs> that's terrible um, can I think of some else no that one what color do you think is the most boring one brown beige brown I can use brown um, I usually use it when I do a neutral look, even if I use more cool tone browns, but it's the color I would pick last. <laughs> even white is more fun, <laughs> so brown definitely. Uh, what brand do you think, com think coming out with the most boring things? Well, if I don't count in all the big popular brands like, you know, all the bougie one, Dior, Chanel and those, and I don't count Maybelline and L'Oreal because they never release anything that excites me. If I take a brand that I actually like some stuff from, I think it would be... Like Benefit maybe? I like their packaging aesthetics and so on, but they bring out such boring things. I'm never excited when they have releases. If I choose from brands I love, because otherwise I would find a million brands. But if I just take one of the brands that I actually have stuff from that I like, I think it would be like Benefit or something. Their eyeshadow palettes, the few they have are so boring. And they never release new stuff and when it is it's a mascara and even though it's supposed to be a very good mascara it's not exciting and foundation is not exciting so yeah um which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one brows brows I'm not a fan of doing my base either um I do it because it makes a big difference in the way I look um by the way i'm trying to look in the camera in this video and i know that this will look weird but i'm just trying to see how it looks okay so it's really weird because me is there i'm filming with my phone it's like my viewfinder but 
since I don't have an actual camera lens or something to look into. I don't really show where the camera is. I think it's there. Right? Yeah. So I don't know where I'm looking. So if I look weird, that's why. What was the question? Makeup routine. Yeah, brows. And the base is boring because usually it's... Mm, yeah, foundation and such, but brows is definitely the most boring thing. Uh, which step in your makeup? No, that did I just answer. Have I answered all the other ones? The worst, the most boring makeup trend, worst lip, what color, what brand do you think? Yeah, if you had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look, or a bad base and a good eye look, oh. I would definitely take a good eye look and a terrible base because my base like always look terrible because of my nose. Today I think it looks okay if I can remember. Yeah, today it looks okay. Uh, but my whole, you know, up to a few years ago my base always looked terrible if I even did it. And I have always been about the eye look and... I never do the base and don't do an eye look, so I don't know if this makes sense. But I will definitely pick a good eye look over a good base any day. <laughs> Was that all the questions? Yeah. Oh, a short video for me maybe. I've only filmed for like 12 minutes and I know that there are some parts I'm going to cut away. <laughs> So, well, that's good. Um, and this was created, like I said, by Lisa Lobotomy. But I've seen a lot of my YouTube friends do this video. And if you haven't done it and you are a creator, then I tag you. And I tag all my friends down below. And, you know, just tell me if you do this and I miss it. If I, you know, miss missed it not miss miss it. you know what i mean and if you're not a creator you can tell me down below if there are some products that you know you don't like and so on so i will know um and go watch lisa's video because she created it um and yeah that was all from me bye